श्री साधु 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 सो डियर धम्म प्रैक्टिशनर्स we try to understand the very nature of our mind and using the mind and sometimes we have to use some outside example to recognize the very nature of the mind because the mind is this everything mind is all over your body and mind is govern this all in your life so that's why it is very important to understand the very nature of the mind understanding the mind mean understanding you so when it come to understanding mind you have to start with the moment that you go through not the past or the not the future in this very moment whatever happening in your mind you have to get access to that and use that moment and then you have to recognize the very nature because otherwise if you start to think about the past or the future you're not going to get it exactly as it is so then from the beginning you go in wrong way so if you really look for the the knowledge regarding the mind or the self you have to start from the moment that wherever you are so that is the the beginning point should be that should be the center to to work so when it come to that the very nature of the mind mind has different behavior sometimes the mind is like ants one way so the ants you know there are different different ants red black termite so some other different different many many names so the thoughts also kind of like that thought also have different kind of behavior and different kind of thoughts and sometimes white sometimes black good bad nice ugly so the thought has different different behavior and when you look at the very nature of the ants that's mostly ants come to to some whatever the sweet for them or whatever good for them and so they always look something to get so the mind also the same the mind also have always nature to get something catch something grasping holding clinging we call that upadana so that is the very nature of the the thoughts or the mind always look for harboring harbor harbor to something get into something and uh, other thing is the most dangerous when you when it come to the ants that you know that when they bite they release kind of like a uh, the water kind of like uh, some kind of chemical through their mouth and it it bring and it, it bring more comfort to that pinch or the the bite and it it help to go through it's kind of like a lubricate the the surface level whatever they want to bite so our thought also same remember each and every thought always release kind of chemicals in your body so mind is all over your body so then always thoughts happening and then you are full of chemicals you are kind of like chemicals human body so be aware 
about your thoughts. Why? Because whatever the thoughts that if it is unpleasant, unhappy, sad, worry, disappointment, fear, unsatisfaction, this kind of things release bunch of huge bunch of chem unnecessary chemicals to your physical body. So, another thing is that you know the termite. It's look very innocent. No harm when you look you know, it's not like the, the black ants. Even that the termite bite, not kind of like that much, you know, the giving you kind of like a pain. But how about when the, if the termite start to get into a house structure, what will happen? Not on the very first day, what will happen? Long term. It's going to become a disaster. So there are some thoughts inside us. It is there. You see it. It's not going to disturb you that much. You look, it look like so nice, you know, beautiful. And it even though in the surface level, it look like uh, good. You know, kind of like white thoughts. So, but how, when in the long term, what to happen? It bringing you a disaster. It destroy you. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how, how that the high you climb. It brings you down. So when you aware, when you become more careful, when you are able to see the mind, you can recognize this. Another thing is the, the ants always, it's not going to stay mostly alone. So it always stay together. So the thought also the same. No one single thought going to stay alone. It has ability to bring more and more and more and thoughts around it. And another thing is the, the, the ants always moving. If you see, you no, know, they're always moving, busy, busy, busy. So the mind also the same. There is no single moment it's going to settle down in conventional. If you don't practice, it always moving, 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 moving. So this kind of this, this is a way that you can recognize the the very nature of the mind when you have ability when you see next time if you see ants rather than getting and you know spray and oh you know clean them just start a little bit watch and see the behavior of them and see recognize your thoughts also the same like that. And uh, so this grasping nature, holding nature, is in the beginning brings kind of like a comfort to us because the very nature of the mind, harboring, holding. So from where this holding, this grasping or the upadana arise from how it arise. So you have the physical, you have eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and the mind. So then for, uh, from outside, you need perception. So the, for the eye, you need the color, so the picture, so, so what? Eye object. So for ear, you need the sound, ear object. So that is outside, but you need this physical ear. And also for nose, you need this physical nose. And, the, and then from outside, it need aroma. And the tongue, you need this physical tongue and the outside, you need taste. For the body, you need this physical body from outside, you need sensation, feeling. Something or somebody need to touch. 
and for the mind you have the mind and at the same time related to past or the future you need the thoughts so that's how we go so when the thing is when the eye so this physical eye physical ear nose tongue body and the mind this physical body come as a result of your past merits so as example when you are in the mother's womb it called purana karma previous merits when you are in the mother's womb your eye ear nose tongue body mind already everything already grow before you even you come to this world see that how it happened it happened related to your previous karma and once you have it once you come to this world and it is start to contact with the the outside world so now you have the physically i ear nose tongue body mind work perfectly and when you see something and it come to contact to your eye the physical eye so you need the physical eye and you need something from outside world to contact with it when these two things come together and then i consciousness arise so you have the physical eye and you have the outside object and then when this that things come together the i consciousness arise once the i consciousness arise with these three things the feelings arise that's how the feelings come so you have this physical ear and you need the the sound from outside the, so that is the object for the, your ear and the consciousness the mind so that's why when the when you go to sleep when the your consciousness not activate not connected to the ear so what happening even somebody you know try to wake you up you you don't you you are not going to hear it maybe thief come and take everything and you not you you don't know so even the physical ear is there and the sound is there still but you don't you don't hear why because the ear consciousness doesn't work there so the nose the same you have this physical nose and then the aroma from outside and then you have to have the nose consciousness so nose consciousness or the ear consciousness or the uh, the ear co consciousness or the eye consciousness or the tongue consciousness body consciousness or the mind consciousness remember is not something that is the import because when we see this eye we 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 take this as a thing this is a, this is a kind of like a nourishment for the self to believe there is something there is somebody because from 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 childhood that is how we learn to grasping and holding and dividing to things categorize it make our life comfortable but at the same time what is happening in the disadvantage is deeply we start to believe there is something so this happened to our our same that the the inner organs also even this eye say so you now we see this physical eye like this but how about inside there is a huge mechanism even that physical eye the ear the, the ear is not this, this ear there is a deeper physical different mechanism we cannot see so even though we hold this as ear when it go to doctor they don't care about this part they more aware about the inside so this inside ear or this inside eye inside nose inside tongue or the inside body or the inside mind activate when the the object come and meet together 
that activation bring the the consciousness otherwise it is not somewhere when these two things come together it come to the middle no it doesn't happen like that way so that the the object and the subject come together the consciousness come as a result of that listen that and and again and again think and recognize that will help you to understand even this conventional life more easily and it make your life become more more comfortable so when the ear object and your ear then these two things come together the cons it give the birth to consciousness that is where the feelings arise so with now i ear no stung body mind outside i object ear object nose object tongue object body object mind object so come together the consciousness arise i consciousness ear consciousness nose consciousness tongue consciousness body consciousness and the mind consciousness arise when it arise the feelings arise so as you know the feeling have three categories one is good feelings or the we call pleasant feeling or the unpleasant feeling or the neutral so it's uh, the, the feelings is thought feeling is not a kind of like a magic feelings related to thought so it is a it is a deeper another analog that uh, analogy that you have to go that way but just remember the feelings are thoughts it is not a magic good feeling bad feeling neutral feeling pleasant feeling unpleasant feeling neutral feeling sukha dukkha adukkama sukha in pali so this all thoughts but the thing is this It, when it arise when the 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 feelings arise the very nature of the feeling it give power to to grasping it's like glue holding to something look at very carefully you are living means what when we say we are human being we living this life you so like that what is that mean you maintaining your feelings you governing your feelings you are building your feelings there's nothing beyond the feelings there is no conventional life for you so what is that mean you maintaining with your eye ear nose tongue body mind with your eye object ear object nose object tongue object body object mind object how if it is pleasant you go with and you build it if it is unpleasant you try to resist it and if it is neutral you just allow it to be there that is what called living the we call it the suffering means what this this the struggle is itself called suffering there is nothing else the we keep going it and sometimes people like to do this and people attach to do, do this so they keep going it so when you able to come to the, rec the the recognition of the feeling before the reason the 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 mechanism is this if you don't see the nature of the feeling what will happen you will maintain the feeling so it happened to us all the time so i give a very physical analogy and once a while you clean your house or you clean your room or even you clean your pocket you clean your car and some people don't do that even for their whole life but they, they, they cannot understand this but some people do it so if you do that you will see some material things it is there 
that you see it and uh, just surface level when you see it you you know it you need it and you allow it to be there but one day come you want to clean it and when it come to clean and you recognize oh this is not in no need anymore in but in so far in the journey you thought you need it but moment come for you to clean in that very moment you decide i no need this and you throw it away so see that the the clinging this is the thing that if you don't think if you do if you don't come to a point to clean or if you don't analyze it or if you don't think what will happen to that it going to be there how long it who knows so your thoughts also like that there are thoughts with the, sometimes there are reasons there are sometimes there are thoughts or the feelings no reason but this still it it's there why because you have a body so because of the body and the, you have this the, the, this is the subject and you have object around you and because of that subject and object the consciousness arise so it it going to it going to be there but if you deeply start to observe do i do i need this do i like really do i really like this then you are going to recognize and if you are able to to go to deeper vipassana level so in the tranquility meditation what we does that all the feelings that always arise is as example as uh, remember that like ants you always you know moving so like that these feelings also happen because of the thoughts and the, the, so the thoughts always go here and there and you think it is important sometimes so tranquility meditation what it does it allow to settle down not to move that's why it called tranquility meditation tranquilize and once it tranquilize it give power to to observe because if it is move go here and there and you cannot see properly but now it tranquilize now you can see it so now you can catch the feelings and when the feelings arise deeper in that feelings you recognize the behavior what it arise and change you have to recognize only one feeling that's why you heard sometimes when the when you hear the stories about the buddhas you know suddenly people attain to enlightenment because the the power of the mind is once it able to get through one thing you get connected to to everything so so even the feeling with the the i if you able to get that the impermanent or the unsatisfactory nature of the the selflessness of the feeling one feeling it happen maybe at least 16 thoughts arise within you know one second like like this moment at least 16 thoughts arise and maybe that's mean who knows maybe 16 feelings arise in that very moment but that's why your mind need to be so sharp and clear and once the once the the mind become very clear so if you able to get one feeling it doesn't matter with your eye ear nose tongue body and the mind or everything anything if you get the one feeling and right away you able to recognize the very nature of the feeling in this very moment with the five senses not only that all the feelings happen in the past you recognize the nature 
all the whatever the dreams that you have regarding the feelings in the future you recognize the nature and not only you any human being in this in this present moment or in the past or the, in the future that they also governed by the feelings now you recognize that behavior also not only in this planet anywhere in this universe whoever have the feelings now you know the very nature of that see you get the only one thing but you get into that universal wisdom so it same like this listening very carefully so you go to the beach and you put one finger to the water in that very moment when the tip of your finger touch the water you get connect to entire universe to the, the the ocean in the world entire ocean see you get you tap just the little bit of the the tip of your finger the same like when you able to to recognize that one the feeling in permanent behavior unsatisfactory nature or the selflessness then you able to recognize self for that in the that is why you have to practice the vipassana just to just to get that it is not by hearing and listening you have to experience it because that experience is so powerful than you think and by hearing listening will help you motivate you that is the only thing so you have to get into that so otherwise what will happen this the this all the desires the grasping nature holding nature harboring nature upadana clinging is kind of like rush rush mean the 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 oxidation the ions oxidation rush that it kill the the iron itself so our mind also when it have come to upadana when it come to feelings if you don't see the feelings what will happen it like become like termite remember that you feel it good you enjoy it but little by little little by little it destroy what it destroy you how because the upadana or the feelings take you to another life and especially mostly when the upadana has the strong desire to find the satisfaction it we call the lust or the greed and because of the greed because of the lust what people does they kill each other they kill others not only human they kill animals why because of the lust and uh, because of the lust or the desire likeness people is stealing things from others and because of the desire because of the lust people sexually misconduct sexually misconducting and it is another way sensually we are misconducting all our eye ear nose tongue body mind all the that entire our life we abuse not only sexually we abuse whole our life because of the desires and because of the lust because of the desires we tell lies and especially now this all the young generations you know this viral videos to make viral videos pranks you know that make they 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 tell lies to make people to laugh to get views it's it's deeply you know demoralizing our entire you know the society and the people 
people watching it and people doing it knowingly it is not true so that is deeply that spiritually that's why we have to be very careful regarding in day to day life and other thing is that the detoxicating our own body and intaking that the lot of liquor or the food or the many other things vitamins or many many things because of the last so see this all the five precepts we break because of the the desire because of the feelings so if you recognize one feeling is change impermanent and it leads you to unsatisfactory nature selfless you're not going to go that far it arises you recognize and it it will go away because this five precepts is not nothing to do with the buddhism any religion when you come to that religion spiritual practice this human this is this related to fundamental human ethics or the qualities why because our life happening because of other things this life doesn't happen because of me or so this happened because of the the other things other people that this everything happened according to necessary conditions so the five precepts allow us to keep that conditions in a right way to have a comfortable life so when we break the five precepts what happening that all the fundamental human ethics or the foundation of our life break down and then as a result of that what will happen we get the disappointment from where this all arise it all arise deeper in our heart related to the feelings so if you able to see the very nature of the feelings you release from that rather than nourishing it once you release from one feeling you have to get only one look if you able to recognize and if you release from one feeling one single feeling that will enrich that will show you the the exit door from the sansara and to enter to nibbana so find that exit door it is within yourself within with within your feelings so with that i bless upon everyone with this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbitiyo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavattantarayo sukhi digayuko bhava ettavata cha mehi sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe bhuta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe satta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya idam me punya kammam asavakkayavahan hotu sabba dukkha pamanchatu bless you